Now to a CBS2 News exclusive. Could the cost of congestion pricing come down? Before it was paused, the proposed rate was $15 to drive into Midtown. But as CBS2's political reporter Marsha Kramer explains, Governor Hochul could now be giving that price tag another thought. Honk if you think Governor Kathy Hochul is thinking about a congestion pricing compromise. On the one hand, she told CBS News, Now is not the time to institute a charge, a toll on everyone who comes into Manhattan in this central business district. But with advocates vowing to sue, she seemed to open up a little daylight wiggle room, hinting that charging something lower than $15 to enter Manhattan Central Business District might be something to talk about. $15 is a lot to start with. We have studied congestion pricing around the world. It has customarily started at a lower price point. She's right about that. When London started congestion pricing, the charge was five pounds, six dollars and thirty-two cents in U.S. currency. Milan, five seventy-five in U.S. dollars. Stockholm, two fifty-five. Controller Brad Lander points out that if the governor didn't like the $15 fee, she could have spoken up. It's her panel that chose the $15 number, so there was time to have this conversation earlier. I asked the controller, who is leading a coalition of advocates threatening to sue to get congestion pricing enacted, if he thought the governor's talk about price points opens the door to a compromise. Look, I think the panel could have done a more creative job, uh, and if what it takes to get it going is to go back and, and look at it, if that's how she'll uh, get it off indefinite pause and move it forward, um, then I'm open. We need a solution here. All right, Marsha joins me now. Marsha, you get the sense that the governor maybe is blinking a little? Well, you know, it's really hard to know because she has two problems. One, she has to find either the legislature or the federal government to come up with some money to try to bail out the, the problems that the MTA has with not having money from congestion pricing. But on the other hand, she also has to try to stave off this threatened suit from La uh, Brad Lander and the other people. So this could happen, help with both, but it's hard to know until you see all the chess pieces moving around. Yeah, you know, a few weeks ago, I remember us talking and we were saying, hey, you know, why start at $15? Why, why didn't they start a little lower? And now, oh, all of a sudden we're hearing this now? Well, see, here's the other thing. If, if they lower the money, there's another problem. The MTA still wants $15 billion <laughs> yeah. in order to fix all the things they want to fix. So she would have to either go again to the legislature or to the federal government to have them make up the difference. So it's a big problem, but I think it may be the beginning of a solution and maybe they'll reduce the price. And maybe till after the election, could that be? I have a suspect? feeling that you might be right. Okay, Marcia, <laughs> always. A political seer as always. What? A, a shock, shocked, right? <laughs> okay, Marcia Kramer, great as always. For more on congestion pricing and one of the hottest congressional races in the country, watch The Point with Marcia Kramer this week. It's a great one. Sunday morning at 1130 here on CBS2.